Welcome to West Milford Time Machine. Today we take you back to the March 6th, 1998 edition of the Highlander News. Hi, welcome to the March 6, 1998 edition of the Highlander News. I'm Randy Hempel here with Kate Gunther, and now let's go to Save Your Vision Week. Save Your Vision Week is a reminder for people to get their yearly eye checkups. Getting a checkup is important for you and will save your vision from diseases or infections such as glaucoma. So if you haven't gone for your checkup, try to get, go out and get one this week. Now for Telepeer. Telepeer has been working very hard to accomplish their goals. For this year. They have split up into groups to accomplish their goals more efficiently. Some of their projects are Drug and Alcohol Awareness Week, Student Issues, and a movie shown to the Macapin students on alcohol. The groups are moving quickly. They have separate meetings for each group to discuss their progress. Telepeer has recently sent out a new flyer to all freshmen explaining exactly what Telepeer is. Telepeer would like to thank Mrs. Sisella and Mr. Burks for all of their time and help in each group. And now to Kate with the story of Mark, Mock Trial. Thanks, Randy. On Saturday, February 28, 1998, the West Milford Mock Trial team competed in the county tournament in Patterson, New Jersey. After crushing their first round competition from DePaul, they moved on to the finals only to face their rivals, Clifton. After, after a blistering two-hour competition, West Milford, who seemed to have presented a better case, lost to Clifton. The verdict was returned from the jury in favor of West Milford, but the judge thought differently. Regardless of the loss, Kathleen Tappan, Lisa and Beth Bell, and Rachel Ter Tershim all presented a wonderful case. Here's for a winter sports wrap-up. The winter sports wrap-up, the winter track runners ended their season at FDU and the throwers ended their season at Garfield High School. The award ceremony will be held on March 24, 1998. The seniors, Alex Ryer, Mary Llewellyn, Kelly D'Amelio, Kristen Tedesco, Eric Rodriguez, Kevin Dever, and Tom Parisi will be greatly missed. The ski team ended the year with having only raced 10 times. Graduating seniors are Chad Miller, Pat Montani, Chris Bowes, Steve Agee, and Denise Lautenberger. Both the fencing team and bowling team had a great season. The 1997-98 girls basketball team finished their season with a 10-12 record. State started on March 2nd. They will be losing key players, Amy Urbeck, Jen Seiden, Jen Paprana, and Linda, Linda Samples. Good job, ladies, and good luck next year. 
The boys' basketball team ended their season with a, an 11-11 record. Good job to the whole team, especially the graduating seniors, Jeff Hauser, Ron Clark, Todd Jensen, and Sohail Shapar. Congratulations to all sports teams, and good luck to the upcoming spring sports. Let's go to a winter sports wrap-up piece. that great clip. The West Milford High School baseball team will be starting its season this coming Monday, March 9th. The team is coached by Mr. Anslone, with this year's captains being seniors Jeff Watson and Kevin Dankworth and junior Jay Dahl. Last year's record was 17 wins and 10 losses. The team will be getting ready for games against Lakeland and Del Barton. The boys will hit off their season with a scrimmage against Ramsey on March 20th. Girls Varsity Softball 
The varsity softball season gets underway on Monday, March 9th. There will be four days of tryouts, and the results will be posted on Friday, March 13th. The team's only senior, Janelle Brower, will be captain. She is recovering from a knee injury she suffered during her soccer season, but is expected to be in full strength and leading the Highlanders to a successful season. Come, some returning players are Corinne Reiser, Aaron Schultz, Ali Schmid, Courtney Kriskrick, and Ali Protomastro. It will be another hard year competitive and competitive season because the Lady Highlanders will be up against top-ranked teams. The Highlanders have, have lost many key players, such as Laura Remia, Vicky Siesta, Trisha Nolan, Jen Opat, and Kristen Kurtosh. Good luck to the girls' softball team on their upcoming season. Girls' track. This season, the girls' track team is looking to defend their conference championship title. Last year, the girls were undefeated and won the conference meet. Some returning letters winners are Mary Llewellyn, Alex Ryer, Kelly D'Amelio, Kristen Tedesco, Megan Petrono, Sarah Schechter, Danielle Ruciano, Mary Bosemeyer, and many other contributors. Good luck to the girls in their season. Now to Randy with more news. Thanks, Kate. The boys' tennis team is looking to rebound from last year's disappointing season. This year's team will be le led by returning letterman, sophomore Jean Varian, juniors Ian Hamilton and Adam Schmid, and senior Chris Faust. Also expected to contribute greatly are Pat Montani and Sean Walker, who will be replacing Dan Fry, Ken Lou Allen, and Paul Church. Good luck to the team, and go Gibby. Now from tennis to golf. This year's golf team is coached by Mr. Worth, is looking to be as successful as last year. They have key, many key golfers this year. Some returning players are Tom Gaffney and Steve Rosen. Captain Steve Rosen is having captain's practice next week. Listen to the announcements for more information, and good luck to the team. To the team. Kate, breakfast, the school breakfast week? The National School Breakfast Week. Unfortunately, West Milford, West Milford High School is not part of the program due to governmental reimbursement problems, but is, but is part of the National School Lunch Program. The only West Milford school program participating in UG, is UGL. A quick survey at the high school showed that most students wouldn't want to participate in a breakfast program. This week is foreign language week in our school. To celebrate, Spanish classes will be bringing in food. French students study customs, arts, music, and literature. German students will tell how foreign language will affect their futures. All are encouraged to earn extra credit by greeting all their teachers in their language of study. Now to the question of the week. It's Katie Gunther, and I'm here with Aaron Navarro. With, uh, <laughs> My name is Katie Gunther, here with Aaron Navarro with this week's question of the week. And the question is, if you could live in any TV show, what would it be and why? Brody, one of my friends who just got his license. And Phil, if you could be on any TV show, what would it be and why? Um, it would have to be Baywatch. So I could be surrounded by all those beautiful women all day. And, you know, they'd all, like, come to me because I'm the man. <laughs> Great, thanks. Junior Aaron Schultz. And, uh, Aaron, what's your answer to this week's question? I'd say Party 5 because they don't have parents. And it'd be pretty cool to do anything you wanted to. Pretty good answer. Thanks. <laughs> There's Megan Petrono and Courtney Quisquick. And guys, what's your answer to this week's question? Well, we'd want to be on Sweet Valley High because everyone automatically has great tans and a $5,000 wardrobe. Great, thanks. Noelle, and uh, Noelle, what's your answer to this week's question? If I could be on any TV show, it'd have to be South Park. And why? Because, I don't know, Cartman's cute. Oh, good answer. <laughs> thanks. Frank Muno, and guys, what's your answer to this week's question? Buffy the Vampire Slayer, because Angel's hot. Saved by the bell, because I'm Zach Morris. <laughs> Thanks. Sure, Mr. Boyle, and Mr. Boyle, what's your answer to this week's question? Uh, I think maybe I'd like to live at the time of Dr. Quinn, medicine woman. I think that would have been really cool to live back in those days, ride around on horses and see the West. Oh, good answer. <laughs> Thanks. And Sean and guys, if you could be on any TV show, what would it be and why? Laverne and Shirley, because sometimes I like to be Shirley. <laughs> Chips, because I like to ride motorcycles. <laughs> Thanks. With Erin. And Erin, uh, what's your answer to this week's question? Well, uh, I'd have to say I'd either be on Dawson's Creek or Fraggle Rock, because uh, Dawson's Creek is my new favorite show and Fraggle Rock is my old favorite show. Sounds pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> and you're Rob Hatfield. And Rob, if you could be on any TV show, what would it be and why? in the house probably because i like marion hill the character mr smith l.o cool j thanks
Hi, I'm here with Mr. Habern, the director of this year's high school play. And Mr. Habern, if you could be on any TV show, what would it be and why? Well, that would be Baywatch, and that would be for obvious reasons. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, Chris, what's your answer to this week's question? Um, I'd have to say South Park, because Chef's on there, and Chef's just the bomb, right, Phil? I'd have to agree. Thanks. <laughs> Gallman and Mike, if you could be on any TV show, what would it be and why? Definitely be Spice, just because the quality of acting is so great. Thanks. I'm here with Junior, Adam Schmidt, and uh, Adam, what's your answer to this week's question? I'd probably be a WWF wrestler because, uh, you know, I'm huge and I could beat them all. Sounds good to me. Thanks. And any TV show and why? What would it be? I'd have to say Wonder Years so I could be the Winnie Cooper. <laughs> and uh, Kate, what about you? Um, I'd have to say 90210 because it's been one of my favorite shows ever since I was little. Back to the newsroom. Thanks for that great question of the week. Today, Mrs. Tulin Spanish 3 and 4 classes went, held a Spanish Emergence Day. The students went to McAfee Middle School Library, where they enjoyed a full day of Spanish. Many students prepared skits, songs, and games to, fu to fulfill the six-hour lock-in. Snacks, games, and a student band translating their lyrics in Spanish were the highlight of the day. The purpose was to get Spanish students to use and master the Spanish language in the everyday world. It, is sure to be a fun, it was sure to be a fun day for everyone. The senior trip. Due to the fact that only six students signed up for the senior trip, it has been canceled. The kids were supposed to have a great trip to Virginia Beach. There was going to be, it was going to consist of a pool side, par, of pool side parties, shopping, and great fun with friends. But due to lack of interest, it was canceled. They are planning a new one-day trip to Dorney Park. And since no one decided to go on this trip, everyone, there has been an increased attendance at Project Graduation because everyone views this as their last time to be together with their friends in one place at the same time. Now for the junior prom. Well, the junior prom is less than a month away. The prom committee headed by Mr. Charmetta has been hard at work making decisions and preparations for the memorable event. Some decisions have been made already. The two big ones are the colors, which are emerald, white, and silver, and the other is our song, I'll Stand By You by the Pretenders. Bids are on, will be on sale March 2nd through 13th for $82 per couple. The prom will be held at Wayne Manor, and it starts at 7 p.m. and is over at midnight. Be sure to arrive by, before 7.30 p.m. or you will be unable to enter. All juniors are welcome and encouraged to come. This is a good way to get close to your class and make a few more memories for the future. Now let's go to the student play, the class play. This is Megan, Danielle, and Courtney. We're here to check out the new prom fashions at Jenny's Bridal Boutique. Jenny's is located on Babcock Place in Pompton Lakes. Let's go check out the styles. I don't care what my teachers say.
I'm not gonna eat today, and I'm not gonna eat tomorrow, cause I'm gonna be a supermodel. <laughs> Some of the prom fashions you'll be seeing this year. We'd like to thank Jenny's Bridal Boutique in Palms and Lakes for letting us film here. Back to the newsroom. Well, that wasn't the play piece, but that was our special prom production, and thank you for it. This week is National Drug and Alcohol Awareness Week. Talking with kids about drugs and alcohol is the main focus during this week. Many future assemblies featuring special guest speakers and fun activities will be taking place and be hosted by Telepeer and other clubs and organizations. Please come out and participate on the fun. Our purpose is to help a, a friend, a child, or even you if you if you want if you want further instruction or information on drug and alcohol abuse and resolution. Please make use of the substance awareness bulletin put out by the West Milford Township School District Administration and Mr. Bur and Mr. Book for the substance awareness coordinator at the West Milford High School. You can also call these important phone numbers on your screen to help in in a more specific situation. Help yourself as well as others. Decca recently went on a trip to Cherry Hill to compete in the state. They also sell pizza after school and they have a school store open from 2 to 3 where they sell cookies, candy, and drinks. Good job to Decca and States and keep up the hard work. The following seniors have been accepted to the following colleges. Kristen Lynch to Gordon College and Messiah College. Michelle Indu to Montclair State. Noelle de Blas to Pennsylvania State. Chad Miller to Skidmore College, Lauren Maragliata to Quinnipiac College, Vicki Raymond to Dean College and Johnson and Wales University, Amanda Norton to Castleton State College in Wheelock, Mary Llewellyn to Rutgers, Jessica Neglia to American Ac Ac Academy of Dramatic Arts and Ocean, Community, Ocean County Community College. Congratulations to all the students. Let's go to a special piece on this year's high school play, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. Now let us assume you are young, healthy, clear-eyed and eager, anxious to rise quickly and easily to the top of the business world. You can. No, you can. If you have education and intelligence and ability, so much the better. But remember that thousands have reached the top without any of these qualities. Just have courage and memorize the simple rules in the chapters that follow. If you truly wish to be among the lucky golden few, you can. I can. How to choose the right company. Before applying for a job, make sure you have chosen the right company. It is essential that the company be a big one. It should be at least big enough so that nobody knows exactly what anyone else is doing. Hey Joe, I've got a complaint from our dealers in Greenville about that last order of wickets. They only got half their wickets. They ordered 300,000. I know you, yeah. But they wanted two tall wickets and we ran out. Ran out? What is that? I don't see 
Well, this is the world wide which I come from. It's supposed to be the largest food producer of the, the world. Now take it easy, Mr. Gash. The control is easy to play. A free tip. Get on the ball. I want to keep cleaning the boogie mind. Yes, sir. that great piece on the play. Tonight and tomorrow night, the play starts at 7.30. We hope to see you there, and you can get tickets at the door. Thanks for tuning in with this week's edition of the Highlander News. Signing off with Randy Hempel and Katie Gunther. Have a great weekend. Man, are they Make a decision. It's up to you. Do what?